What's up people, welcome to DJJO Games and today we're going to talk about Sea of Thieves. Uh, as you can probably see by the title, it's uh, called Sea of Thieves Doesn't Suck, but it's more or less responding to a video that I saw uh, Optimus make, uh, it was called Sea of Thieves Sucks, so obviously I'm contradicting that, saying Sea of Thieves Doesn't Suck. Um, obviously, oh, I, I suspect Optimus is a very nice guy, but um, I just thought it, it probably doesn't suck as much as he made it out to suck. Anyway, I'll um I'll I'll leave a link to his channel uh, or his the video that he made at least down in the description. So if you want to view that before uh, you hear my contradictions against what he said, then uh, by all means do that. Um, and if you think I'm wrong uh, by any chance, just put in the comments that you think I'm wrong. Yes, but this. Yes, but this. Yes, but this. Yes, but this. But we'll just get on with this. I use Google Trends uh, mainly for using comparisons with other games such as Forza Horizon 3, um, GTA 5, Overwatch. I didn't use Fortnite and Minecraft because they're like top, top, top games. You don't usually... Uh, they, they are really, really popular games. It's You won't really want to... Um, compare them. But then again Optimus did make a video about um, Minecraft the day Minecraft died and then Wells Knight, uh, a very popular uh, sorry Minecraft Minecraft YouTuber, I was about to say Fortnite YouTuber, sorry a very popular Minecraft YouTuber came out and said no it isn't dead and it, and it very clearly isn't because on Google Trends it is extremely popular still. It, In fact the only game that has overpopulated it is Fortnite. That's the only game that is more popular than that. Anyway, we'll move on to uh, what Optimus. So the first thing he said is that it is a sixty-dollar game. Now uh, I live in the UK, so obviously different prices. It's in pounds, but he said it was a sixty-dollar game, and it shouldn't be a, si a full game, a sixty-dollar game. Uh, but yeah, he stated that it, it should be a thirty-pound free-for-all play uh, game. So thirty dollars, sorry. Um, free for all play game, not a full sixty dollar game, and I think that uh, that's probably a bit wrong. Um, there are games like Forza Horizon Three, which are um, almost as exciting as Sea of Thieves, but yet a full game. So Sea of Thieves is probably correct, just about right to be a full game. And updates and stuff like that make it even, even, even bigger. Big map, all that sort of stuff, different ships, different different things to do. And that leads us on to the other thing. Um, Optimus got bored of the game, apparently. Uh, he often repeated this, get in a fight, loot to dock, uh, sorry, get in a fight, loot to dock and win. That's not really how Sea of Thieves works. There's more than getting in a fight, win, than loot to dock and then get in a fight, win, loot to dock and then every now and then you lose by which you just spawn back in and stuff like that which we'll come back to that later um, th th there's a lot more to do um, I'm sure you've seen my previous CSEs video which was how to do uh, Order of Souls that's quite an exciting one because you go out to uh, an island and you basically have to fight to get a skull and you get money out of that and money uh, you can buy all sorts of different stuff with that such as clothing and uh, good swords and guns and stuff like that which basically makes you a better player in Sea of Thieves and makes things a lot easier for you to play in Sea of Thieves. Um, his second point was about respawning. Basically as he respawned or as, as you respawn uh, you just basically get your loot back and your ship back, but the fact is, is when you die, you usually die to something like your ship being under attack. And, you, and if you've been doing Order of Souls, which is exciting, or you've been doing some form of treasure quest, which is worth quite a lot of money, if you're good at the game, if you get really good at the game, that's the thing, when you're, when you're starting off, it is quite cheap, and I do understand that it can be quite boring to start with, but once you get into the game, and it gets, uh, things get quite expensive, such as treasure chests, and you get sunk and your ship sinks, you lose that treasure chest, and that's quite a, worth quite a lot. You take about 20-30 minutes to get that treasure chest, 
and that's quite a lot to lose a lot of time to lose for someone who maybe plays once on an evening after work after school after whatever that's quite a lot of time to lose just from you know someone attacking your ship and like i said it isn't all about attacking your ship and everything like that remember there is the order of souls and stuff and when you do all that together the game becomes valuable to to you and everything that you do is valuable you can't really lose it so when you do die uh, and you respawn back in respawning back in it's nice that you can do it okay and yes there is a boring side to it but at the same at the same time you lose what you may have got on your ship and if you've earned quite a lot, obviously, if you're going out to go get stuff, you know, and then you lose your ship and come back in, yeah, if just come back in and what, what have you lost? You've lost nothing. That is a very good point. Uh, but then again, if you do have a chest or a skull or whatever, if you do lose that, it, 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 can, it can be kind of fatal for you. And you, you're just going to have to go get another quest. And it gets complicated then. It gets hard it kind of it really does punish you and that leads on to the point where it doesn't punish you enough well it does if you do have something valuable in there and it is hard to find something valuable that's probably where optimus is failing and falling is that he doesn't get he's not finding stuff valuable enough it's hard to find valuable uh, treasure chests that are lo worth loads of money and if you lose that you lose it that that's the fact you know it it's going to be hard to get another quest from you know one of the outposts that brings you to several chests or chests that are worth a lot and sometimes you even have to pay for like the quests that you do because they're worth so much and that's where sort of the punishment lies if you, if you if you lose your ship right you you lose your treasure oops it's not so much about the dying kind of situation it's it's more about the if you lose your ship you lose your you lose your stuff dying isn't the punishment in the game it's the losing the ship that's in the game that's probably where optimus is not the punishment in sea of thieves and another point which i can't really fight against which it, you know that optimus made is um there is no upgrading of ships to be honest, yeah, I, I agree with you. There is no upgrading of ships. That is a downside of uh, Sea of Thieves. Although there is a new ship coming out um, very soon. So that'd be nice. Um, new ship. And it is constantly updating. Okay. Uh, which leads us on to the point that it had so much ca capability but lost it. The fact is, is it did have so much capability. And it is slowly building up to fulfill that capability. If you, if you just be patient. I'm sure you'll get that uh, get that capability that you're looking for. Plus, it is it is a game that is that takes time that takes time and patience uh, to play. So if you are planning to play it, don't don't be playing Fortnite and then go, oh yeah, Sea of Thieves will be exactly like this and all that sort of stuff. It won't. It really, really won't. It won't be action packed all the time. There'll be quiet moments. There'll be action moments. And it's kind of good because then your mind has to respond to from all of a sudden being nice, calm, tranquil moment to trying to fight against a ship that's ten times bigger than you. <laughs> Which, you know, it's possible. It is it is possible, but um, very hard. And um, that almost leads us on to the fact that the game is boring because we were saying how you just have to be patient. You just have to be patient. And, okay, yeah, the game can be boring at times. Um... But as long as you make it action-packed as much as you can, which I have done in the past with all sorts of uh, techniques and methods and stuff like that, if you can make it as action-packed as you can, such as, you know, stuff to do with your friends and stuff, make sure you play with your friends, first of all. Don't be playing with uh, random people. If you, if, if you are, it's fine, you know, it's at your own risk. But um, sometimes playing with friends is a lot more fun, and that's where Optimus also may be finding... Sea of Thieves boring. It is a, you know, it can be seen as a game uh, made for playing game, sorry, playing with friends. Um, so, obviously, you may see it as a boring game at times, but then again, remember, 
Uh, there are m- there's more to do than sinking ships and getting loot off them. You collect your loot, go on, go collect your loot. That's that's quite fun actually at times, depending on what loot you do, order of souls, all sorts of this. Solving riddles, um, finding places, shooting people, killing them. Hey, I found that fun. Um, I think you've, I don't know whether you've seen the video of us do a ship sink before. That's fun, um, but don't do it all the time. That's the thing. Save it. Save that um, the epic ship sink, uh, ship sinking, for you know, what when you can, because if you're constantly ship sinking and you're not collecting loot and you're not going out to do this and that and this and that, um, such as Order of Souls and other quests, then it's it's not going to be fun. You're just going to be repeating what you repeated maybe 10 20 minutes ago anyway i believe that is it for this discussion chat this has taken about 12 13 minutes long i I suspect to be 13 14 minutes by the time i'm finished uh talking and the editing has gone through i hope you did enjoy this discussion chat i hope i wasn't you know too nervous and hesitant i do hesitate quite a lot um yeah, I've had, I'm hesitating here. Uh, if you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. This is the first time I've done this properly, okay? And I've done it with uh, Order City, which it's new technology to me, uh, but it's pretty easy to use compared to other um, software that I've used, like Lightworks. If you've used Lightworks for editing, you know, other editors, they can get complicated at times um, in just getting your head around it. So that's it from us, that's it from DJJO. Make sure to watch whatever videos. See you thieves, we should be getting back onto, you know, getting Fortnite, sorry, getting gameplay weekly. Fortnite, obviously that's doing great. Uh, Forza Horizon, that's quite new. We've recently had a new video, um, so that's, that's hopefully doing well. I ha- it hasn't, sorry, as I'm speaking now, it hasn't published, so I don't know how it's done, um, but I hope it's done well. And uh, GTA 5 also, if you want to watch that, that's pretty good as well. So uh, I'll see you then, and I hope to see you watching our next video. Well, I won't see you, but yeah, that'd be a bit weird if I saw you watching our next video. But I hope to see you. I hope, I hope to hit. I hope that our next video will get. Oh, I'll cut this bit out. Anyway, that's it. Uh, see you then, and uh, our ne- I hope to see you in whatever our next discussion chat may be about Fortnite, about CSEs, updates, you know, all sorts. I probably won't talk so much about GTA 5 or uh, Forza Horizon so much since we just sort of leave them for gameplay. So I'll see you then.